already taken? Got it. Okay. <laughs> the quote today is from this book uh, that I'm reading. It's called Tribe of Mentors, Tim Ferriss. Anybody familiar with that book? You know Tim Ferriss, the author? Tools of Titans or The Four Hour Work Week? No? Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. I like this writing. So the quote today, uh, so this book, he's taken, he's talked to 100 people and interviewed them about their lives and their work and what books they're reading and what advice that they, they have for people. So this one is from a gentleman by the name of Munib Ali, who's the co-founder of Blockstack, an internet company. And he's, his quote is, when I'm old, how much would I be willing to pay to travel back in time and relive the moment that I'm experiencing right now? So just think about that. And he gives an example. He said, like a moment like rocking my six-month-old daughter to sleep while she hugs me. He said, I'd literally pay all the money I have in the bank at age 70 to go back to that time. And that was, <laughs> it fills me up just thinking about that with my own children. Uh, so he, he says it's all about perspective. And each moment, and I, and I think I referenced this in my, in my comment on the quote from the Bible there, response to uh, some of the other comments there that you know we, we really need to focus on each and every moment and I think that's what God wants us to do focus on the here and now and I know people there are people in this room people that are watching this video that maybe are going through a struggle right now they, they've, they've got an adversity in their lives a challenge but maybe a big challenge and you know it was a famous author another famous author Napoleon Hill who once said every adversity has within it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. But we really have to be looking for that. It's really tough when we're going through that struggle to find something positive in that. But if we really look inside of ourselves and focus on what's happening to us, we can come up with that seed of a greater benefit. And you know, so moments for me are very, very precious. And, and I know they are for you too. Uh, the famous poet Emily Dickinson once said that it will never come again is what makes this life so sweet. Yeah, so I'd like to revise that slightly to say that the fact that it will never come again is what makes this moment so sweet. So I think we have to be very mindful of our moments. And when we do that, we will really add to the quality of our lives.